Let's take a quick look at some uh, the bio, the profile of uh, Al Hajilai Mohammed, who will be coming up next for screening. He is from Kwara State, and uh, he was born in 1952. It's uh, almost impossible to forget the role he played in the success of uh, the All Progressives Congress in his state, and also at the national level, presidential level, with Kwara, uh, President Muhammad Buhari winning in Kwara State. It's understandable why he will be returning, but there is no portfolio, even though there are speculations or insinuations that he might be returning to the position of Minister for Information and Culture. He's been in politics since 2002. Also recall that he was a, a candidate for governor in the April 2003 Kwara State elections under the Alliance for Democracy platform. Uh, he was also part of the people whose uh, convoy was assaulted or allegedly assaulted and smashed in front of um, uh, his then rival's campaign office in Kwara State. He served as Governor Tinubu's chief of staff during his first term. He's as active as active can be and he's making his way into the chamber now, as, uh, accompanied by the uh, senior special assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on National Assembly matters. Just to let you know that confirmation will be done after this nominee scales through, if he scales through. And also in comparison to 2015 when all, all 36 nominees of the president were approved or confirmed. We look to see if any one of these nominees will be rejected by the Senate. Recall that out of our 43 nominees, uh, including Lai Mohammed now who is uh, taking a bow, about 19 of them have been asked to take a bow and uh, go without any questioning from the lawmakers, drawing attention to, of uh, media space to whether or not the process is as thorough as promised by the Senate. Uh, the, social, the media has been awash with uh, reactions to the process employed by the Senate. Well, let's see how that pans out if anyone will be rejected. Distinguished colleagues, the nominee on the podium is the former Minister of Information and National Orientation, Alejilai Mohamed. Alejilai Mohamed represents Kwara State. Alaji Mohammed, on behalf of all my colleagues here, I want to welcome you to the Senate. And we have copies of your CV before us. You can still highlight anything that you feel needs special attention in the CV, or indeed anything that you might have omitted, but is of significance for this exercise. Before you address the Senate, let me recognize the presence of His Excellency, the Governor of Kwara State, and of course, someone who once served in this Senate, Senator Samuel Jibola, who is also on this delegation, and uh, stalwarts of the ruling party, who are also on this entourage and delegation. The nominee, you can address the Senate. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Senate President, Your Excellency, the Deputy Senate President, Principal Officers of the Senate, distinguished senators, and in particular, the three senators representing Kwara State, namely Senator Dr. Yaya Uduri Agbe, Senator Sadiq Umar, 
and the senator representing my own central district, Senator Architect Lola Ashiro. Permit me first to thank Almighty Allah that has made me witness today. And I also want to put on record my appreciation to my governor who is here with me. But more importantly, my gratitude to Mr. President who has deemed it fit to once again nominate me as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. My pledge to Mr. President and Nigeria is that if I'm confirmed as a minister, I will redouble my effort in the service of my country to justify his confidence in me. Your Excellency, Mr. Senate President, there's only one small issue I want to draw your attention to in my CV. It's about my name. My name, as it appears on your CV, is my correct name, which is Lai Mohammed. Please don't believe what they say on the social media. <laughs> they call me all sorts of names there. I used to ignore it until one day when my seven-year-old grandson called me and said, Grandpa, tell me the truth. Why would they call you liar, Mohammed? <laughs> I looked at him. What do you say to a seven-year-old son? How do you explain politics to him? So I said, no, don't mind them. They are the bad guys. He said, you mean like Joker? Like Bain? And take another name. I had no idea what he meant, but I say yes. Later, I found out that those names were actually the names of their cartoon bad guys. So I thank you very much, Mr. President and the distinguished members. I'm ready for your questions. Thank you very much. Senator Ibukule Mwosu. Mr. President, the citizen that here, distinguished colleagues, my name is Ibukule Amosu. I represent Obu Centra. Mr. President, let me thank you. It gives me great pleasure to be given this opportunity to speak about uh, Egbon Lai Muhammad. The gentleman in front of us leaves little or no introduction. He's a lawyer. He's so many things rolled into one. But the one I want to dwell on this afternoon is the fact that this is somebody that has selflessly served us as a nation. He has served our party. He's a very, very fiercely loyal party man. And you heard him when he was even talking here. He has carried the can severally. Governance is a very difficult uh, job, and it's a thankless job. He's been vilified. You will hear a lot of things about him. The one thing you cannot take away from him is the fact that whatever assignment that is given, you will see him serving diligently, loyally too. So, distinguished colleagues, I've, we have talked among ourselves here. I know my brothers from the northwest from Kwara. They will feel that, oh, why are we saying this? But we met ourselves, and we all agreed that uh, Alaji Lai Muhammad should be allowed, really. Everybody I know is a lawyer, tested, trusted. In fact, there is no discipline. There is no discipline that we want to take him on that he will not be able to uh, thoroughly discharge himself. So I don't think we should indeed begin to belabor and be asking questions. So he deserves to be asked to take a bow and go. 
he has done his bit and he will continue to do his bit. So let me congratulate you for well-deserved uh, 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 renomination. Thank you. Thank you very much. Senator Ali Umaga Ataka Dawamoko. Mr. President, Simon S. Chair, I wish to concur with the last speaker on what affects the nominee before he said today. That Lai Mohammed can be said by Elsand as an achiever. As was spokesman for the party, he did excellently well. And as Mr. the government of our Federation of this country, last four years, did wonderfully well, extremely well. So, Mr. Zax, I want to appeal to our colleagues to consider the service of this gentleman who has which has done officially and privately and allow him to take a bow and go. I also submit, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Bamidele Opeemi Makian. Mr. President, seated as the chair, distinguished colleagues, I am Michael Opeemi Bamidele, representing a central senatorial district. I want to thank you, Mr. President, for the opportunity to also contribute. And I listened to the first two speakers, the leaders, former governor, chieftains of the ruling party that has also produced me. And of course, what I would like to emphasize, Mr. President, is that the nominee standing before us here today represents two things. The Nigerians will be happy to see. One, a litmus test to our distinguished colleague from the minority party. Because more than anyone, Mr. Chairman, Al-Haji Lai Mohammed was on the firing line as a politician, as a party man, as the spokesperson of the party. He managed a very difficult transition process, which for the first time in this country, you know, I mean, changed a lot of things. The reason, part of the reason, Mr. Chairman, that you and I and many of us here can be seen as gentlemen by our distinguished colleagues from the minority party is because we didn't have cause to call them names. We didn't have cause to say anything to them. We would always, I mean, be friendly with ourselves. Because a Elai Mohammed had to do the job for everybody. Sir, in the spirit of the new understanding and what Nigerians have witnessed in the last one week on the floor of this parliament, there cannot be a better proof on the part of our distinguished colleagues on the other side than to encourage. Of course, if Alaji Lai Mohammed said he had suffered some reputation pro problem in court, it was to be expected. And standing before all of us today, I know is an extreme gentleman, a gentleman of gentlemen. For four years, Mr. Chairman, I was privileged to serve with Alaji Lai Mohammed under the leadership of Ashua Jubola Ahmed Tinubu as governor of Lagos State. He was part of the blueprint that was developed for the state. And I tell you, sir, even in the next 20 years, it doesn't matter who is governor of Lagos State. You only need to be civilized and decent. There's a blueprint developed under the leadership of Ashwa Bola Ahmed Tinubu that will make anyone shine as governor. Sir, standing before us here is a brilliant gentleman. He was at the University of Ife, he had a second class offer, he was at the University of 
of Lagos had a second class offer. He was at the Nigerian Law School. He had a second class offer. He's a journalist. He's a lawyer. He's a party man, a party administrator. And as a public servant, he has done well. He also had to manage information. Two difficult jobs. He managed information for a party that was struggling to take over. And managing information in a period of re regime change is something that will not make anyone do good to the other side. And beyond that, you also have to manage information for a government that was coming to fight corruption, to do a lot of things. No, it, wasn't, it wasn't an enviable assignment. But here he is, Candy. I just want to say, sir, that President Buhari saw the need to compensate this gentleman by ensuring that based on his academic qualification and his pedigree, he's offered a platform to serve in public service. And this distinguished senate, four years ago, confirmed him. I am joining the first two speakers and providing a basis beyond being a gentleman to say this distinguished senate found al Haji Lai Muhammad fit and proper to serve in the cabinet of the government of this country four years ago. And today, even in the spirit of the new understanding, in the spirit of the bipartisan interaction that is in overriding public interest and in the best interest you know, of our nation that I know at the end of the day will be proud and will be, in another four years we'll have something to show for what is happening here and for this new understanding. I just want to say that I joined the first two speakers and let Alaji Lai Mohammed take a bow and go. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator uh, Mr. President, sitting as chair, my distinguished colleagues, I stand to elogize Alhajilai Muhammad for being a true Nigerian. I, come, I came across Lai Muhammad when he was nobody. And I was struggling. And he stood by me. Personally, I want to use this opportunity to let my other colleagues know how compassionate this gentleman is when it comes to reasoning. Because I was detained, and while I was detained, nobody knew where I was. And my younger brother got to him, and he said, no way. He started pursuing this thing up to the extent of getting to the Undersecretary of, Afri Under Secretary of African Affairs in the United States. And they intervened just because of this gentleman. And I was released. So I will want to use this opportunity to thank you. And thank you more for the job you have done to this country. There is no better information manager that will have managed the transition in 2015 than you. And you have done it very well. I wish to call on my colleagues to give this gentleman the honor he deserved by towing the line of my other colleagues that have spoken earlier to tell this gentleman to take a bow and go. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Senators Ibrahim Oloragbe, Senator Sadiq Suleiman Umar, and Lola Ashur in that order. Uh, Mr. President, sitting as the chair of the committee of the board, highly respected distinguished colleagues, my name is Ibrahim Yaya Olori Agbe. I represent the people of Fara State. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, let me start by appreciating 
every members of this chamber, particularly those who have spoken about our leader, who is a nominee here. And to appreciate and thank Mr. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for finding it worthy to nominate the nominee. And particularly to thank him also for recognizing our special need in Quara by providing us and giving us two ministerial nominees. And for, for us, I mean for you, our colleagues, for supporting us on the two nominees. I wouldn't want to waste our time and wouldn't want to speak on most of the public knowledge about the nominee Alaji Rahuf Olai Wala Muhammad. But to underscore what some of us here may not know about him again, we are squarers. It's a public knowledge in Nigeria that when the history of democracy will be written in Nigeria, particularly the 2019 election, Quara is a special case. Quara was a state in Nigeria that everybody looked up to. And Quara came up to define the true meaning of democracy as the government of the people, by the people, for the people. Because the people took their destiny in their hands to liberate themselves. And they came with a mantra, which everybody knows in Nigeria as Otoke. And that mantra, as well as the movement, came about when the whole government, from local government to the federal level, the elected people, with the exception of four councillors out of 183, one House of Assembly member, moved to another party. The gentleman before us remained the highest political office holder in Quara State. Hence, he became the leader of the party. He demonstrated certain qualities that are unusual and uncommon. One, he had the opportunity to say he wants to be anything as far as the elected office is concerned. But he took leadership to say what is most important is Quara. He said, I'm not going to contest for anything. We we'll create opportunity and level playing ground. What we need is to lead the people to be able to achieve their aims. He was selfless, he was humane, and he demonstrated humility. And that's why we are able to produce a complete winning of all positions in Quara for the party. Quara, as I speak today, despite what we lost in 2015, we have all the councillors, we have all House of Assembly members, and all National Assembly members, due to the leadership provided by Ladi Nair Mohammed. He was selfless, he was humane, and was simple. So therefore, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I join and thank my other previous colleagues, and thank you sincerely for the honor you have done us, and you have done Quara. And he has demonstrated here, yeah, you can see our governor is here, we have almost all members of House of Rep, and we have several leaders of Quara. We are one in Quara and we are united. And through your support in confirming him and the other nominee, we we'll continue to assure Nigeria that Quara will demonstrate to Nigeria the true meaning of democracy. Mr. President, thank you very much for uh, honoring us to accept that Aladdin Nair Mohammed takes a bow and go. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Sadiq Suleiman Omar. Uh, Mr. President, sitting as chair of the Committee of the Whole, my most distinguished colleagues, I am Sadiq Sulaiman Umar. I represent the decent people of Kwara North. Mr. Nomine, congratulations for Mr. President to have found your worry to come and work with him again. Let me say something that is very important that most people don't take, a, take note of. Running up to 2019 election, when the body policy temperature was rising, Alaji Lai Mohammed responded with higher sense of restraint and maturity. His responses were measured instead of proportional, which is typical of powerful persons. And he was powerful. He was in a powerful position for exercise restraint which dropped the temperature of the body quality at that time. Thank you very much for that service to our nation. Mr. President, I stand proudly here today to present our product, who is a full package. Yes, it's a complete package, full option. Somebody said earlier, he's a brilliant lawyer, 
a brilliant linguist, and a brilliant PR professional. And it's evident, all universities said it. His minimum standard is second class upper. That is not more and And it's important, this picture comes out clearly, so that the younger generation should know that excellence is celebrated in Nigeria. Having said this, Mr. President, in fact, I'm tempted to say that every senator seated here should ask our nominee at least three, three questions because he will answer any question. In fact, even impossible questions, he will answer it. However, because of the fundamental fact that if there is any Nigerian that has been interviewed, interrogated, questioned the most, it is a large lie, Mohammed. So what are we going to ask him again? Mr. President, I ask the Senate to ask him to take a bow and go. Thank you. Senator Lola Ashru. Mr. President, we thank Almighty God for bringing us close to the end of uh, this screening. And we are lucky, at the end of it, to have somebody like uh, Elijah Lai Mohammed as uh, the last person. In the Bible, it said, the last in the kingdom of God will be the first. And in the Quran, too, we all know the meaning of the last prophet, the seal of all prophethood. I'm happy today that we are having our man, a man of meritorious service, who has served Nigeria in all capacity, who has served our great party, APC, as the spokesperson. We are lucky to have him today as the nominee of Mr. President. And I am very, very confident, just like he did in the first time, he will do better now. I know Elijah Lai Mohammed very well. We share the same senatorial district. In fact, his term is a, a stone thrown for my term. Uro. Uro is regarded as a, a citadel in Kwara State. It's like Rome, and Elijah Lai Mohammed is like a Roman, and we all know the wisdom of Rome of those days. He has all the wisdom you will expect, and I'm very confident he will do us proud. Mr. President, I will join my colleague and all the senators here to ask him to take a bow. Thank you very much. Sorry. Is it the wish of the Senate that the nominee takes a bow and go? Yeah. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Take a bow. Well, there you have it. Just like 2015, Al Hajilai Mohammed is asked to take a bow and go without any questions. He pledges to double his effort if confirmed, and that will be determined in a short while as the Senate will revert to plenary to consider all 43 nominees who have now been screened, and the country awaits to see if anyone will be rejected. Just a quick rundown of how this whole screening process uh, has been so far since it started on Wednesday. On that day, 10 of the nominees were screened. On the second day, 14. The third day, 7. The fourth day, nine, and finally today, three. Forty-three nominees screened. Twenty of them asked to take the Senate a bow and go. The nomination of Dr. Uke Chuku Oga. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the confirmation of the nomination 
of Senator George Akume. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the confirmation of the nomination of Senator Goswil Akpabio? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the confirmation of the nomination of Honorable Emeka Wajuba? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the confirmation of the nomination of Honorable Rotimi Amechi? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the confirmation of the nomination of Dr. Obonea Onu? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the confirmation of the nomination of Senator Adeleke Mamora? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the confirmation of the nomination of architect Ola Mileko Adegbite? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Adamu Adamu? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Sharon Ekezo? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Senator Tayo Alasha Dura? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination? Of Mustafa Baba Shehuri. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Abubakar D. Aliyu? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Major General Bashir Salihi Magashi retired. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Timmy Pre Silva? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination? Of Ramatu Tijani, those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Richard Adeni Adebayo? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Ambassador Zubairu Dada? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Dr. Chris Ingige? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Mohammed Abdullahi? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Mr. Sunday Dari? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Muhammad Musa Bello? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination? Of Saadia Umar Farouk. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Zainab Shamsuna Ahmed? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. 
The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Abubakar Malami? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Senator Hadi Sirika? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Dr. Sage Henry? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of First Askia Mosini, Advocate of Nigeria? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Pauline Tallinn? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Dr. Ali Isa Ibrahim Pantami? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Muhammad Maigari Dingeti? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Babatunde Raji Fashola, senior advocate of Nigeria? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Dr. Muhammad Mahmoud? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Senator Demishola Saraki? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Ogbeni Rao Faragbe Shola? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Gordi J. D. Agba? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Engineer Suleiman H. Adamu? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Ambassador Mariam Katagum? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Clement Agba? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Geoffrey Enyama? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Engineer Saila Mama? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Saba Nanono? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of alleged lie Mohammed? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Mr. President, sitting in the chair, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, having come this far, and discharge our constitutional and national responsibilities, I would like to move that the chair move to plenary to report progress. I so move, Mr. President. An order, please. Thank you, Mr. President. However, reluctantly, I move, I second the motion. That because I don't want us to finish, I want us to continue. <laughs> I do second the motion, ably moved by the majority leader. Those in favor of the motion say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Well, there you have it. The screening. The process is completed. None rejected. All 43 of them confirmed. The country, the entire country, and the nominees, or the ministers now, will now wait for what portfolios will be allocated to them. Well, that's it from the ministerial screening at the Senate. We will now return to our regular programming. I'm Terry Ikumi.
be watching a live Channel's television event.